After visiting Estonia's beautiful capital city Tallinn, we decided to use our last day here to explore further into the Estonian countryside. And when we learned about an abandoned Soviet military site only 45 minutes from our hotel, we knew we had to check it out. Alexander? Hello. How are you? Take care. Thank you. Diakuyu. Made it. How do we get inside? Отходите, выходите асфальт. А. Да. И туда идёте. Ага. И вот там будет вход. Всё стрелка такая жёлтая. Road. He he'll show us the way. Oh. Uh -huh. Water. 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 Yeah, yeah. Вот там вот не пройдёте. Is there like oh. a that way? Вот там оно всё вот это и есть. Should we walk around? Да, да. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wyatt. Wyatt. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye bye. Bye bye. Friendly man, friendly man. So I guess we have to go around um, because there's a whole bog right here full of water. But that is part of it right there. It just started raining. All right, so he said walk around and then there should be a trail up to there. So I love how he just kept speaking his language even though he knew he can. He probably didn't know, but <laughs> body language speaks volumes. So we're going to go around. There's another trail, I guess. There's something. What is that? I don't know, but it looks abandoned. Yeah, it does. We're basically, at this point, just looking for a trail and hoping that it doesn't dump rain on us and that the ra trail isn't flooded. There's like nothing here except for people oh. who live in houses. <laughs> I see a trail. Yeah, I think this is it. Perfect. Well, that was easy. This is literally where bad things happen. I don't like it here. <laughs> well, we had full service. Okay. You know. <laughs> but whoa. I guess not much is known about this abandoned Soviet site. And there are plans to potentially demolish it in the coming years to make some wind wind farms. So the Soviet base is in a little village called Teresalu, and it only has a population of 500, and it was one of thousands spread out across the USSR. Supposedly, this site had short and medium range missiles with nuclear warheads pointed at Western Europe. Then, on August 20th, 1991, Estonia declared its independence, and now here they are today, being reclaimed by the elements. Oh, wow, this is spooky, eh? Yeah, really spooky. So over here's the barracks. This is where the troops would have been. We're going to go check that out. It'd be crazy to live right next to this, just like chilling. It really would. As abandoned sites go, though, this is very um, close to help. Like we just saw that dude, you know? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's really crumbled. But at the same time, the stone seems pretty um, sturdy still. You know what I mean? Yeah. Should I go inside? Sure. I'm not going inside. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? I have no idea. It's crazy how like the nature is reclaimed it this fast. It's only been abandoned maybe 40 years and already you have grass and literal trees growing up out of it. Like Halloween's only in a few weeks. So like this is major haunted vibes. Look at that. What are those? It's like old uh, fence posts, cement fence posts, but all the fence is gone and it goes all the way over here. So yeah, you can see there was a whole barbed wire fence to keep people out and now it's just been abandoned. Man, crazy. crazy. We just wanted to come here honestly because it's so interesting to see history this close up, you know? Like this is our first time ever in a Soviet, once Soviet occupied area. And it's just crazy to still have like remnants here, you know? So with a missile bunker, I'm assuming you also need places to like store or like live and i'm assuming this was where people lived i don't know if it's just me but i definitely feel very haunted vibes here just like i don't know unsettling i don't know if that's because of the history or what but the weather it's it's very unsettling yeah it is
What is this place? We have no idea what this is, so we're moving on. Look at all this rubble. It's crazy. Okay, after more exploring, we found these mysterious mounds. Yeah, we're pretty sure that they're the missile bunkers. Yeah. But they just have been overgrown with grass. Yeah, we can see them all behind us. It's like a square of them. And there's like random concrete in the middle. Maybe the launch pad. Jeez. We really want to find, we've seen pictures of like the entrance though. So anyway, we're walking through a field. It's raining as you can see. But we're gonna find it. Legit fear I just thought of is what if there's landmines out here? But tons of people have been out here, so I doubt it, but still. Man, with a little bit of imagination, you can really imagine the Soviets just walking around here. All the uh, cement bases, or like cement pads we've been on, I'm pretty sure have been missile launching pads, which is crazy. Okay, after a lot of searching, we just found another abandoned garage. It's big. Kind of eerie, huh? At first I was really scared and now my inhibitions are way down. Just after the first few, you go. All you can hear is dripping. Everything seems pretty sturdy though. It's honestly impressive how um, well this has held up over time. Like the pillars are all still good. The walls, the roof, boy, it is spooky though. I don't know. They might be like, cows or something, but I swear oh. they're animals. I heard of them, that's cool. We found it. What the heck? Man, just look at that. It's like insulated, you can't feel hear the wind anymore. Oh, it is quiet, isn't it? Like you see the trash, right? So people have obviously been here, but they say that it's mostly just for like dumping your trash and stuff, which is kind of crazy. Really? Yeah. There's supposedly still a huge, oh, there it is. A huge Whoa. tube where they don't know, not much is known about this place, but that is where I, I'm assuming the missiles were held. That's insane. This is crazy. That's insane. So glad we found it. We were literally looking everywhere for this place. It's crazy. It's like a big tube. This is the coolest one we've seen so far, yeah. in my opinion. Wow. Well, there's a bunch of graffiti on the walls. There's these like brick cement things where I'm assuming you would have a huge missile, right? This tube is huge. I can only imagine how big the missiles were. I feel like this is such an example of how temporary everything is. Like 50, 40 years ago, this place was like a huge deal. <laughs> and then now, first of all, it doesn't even belong to the Soviets. The Soviet M Union doesn't exist. The missiles are gone. The crisis is, I mean, there's still like tension, obviously, but the Cold War, like, it's just crazy. It, it, yeah, man. You ready to get out of here? Yes. <laughs> well, that was interesting, everybody. And spooky. It was very spooky. Yeah, let us know what you think in the comments. This is the first time we've ever done a vlog like this, but anyway, we got to figure out how to get home. <laughs> All right, bye, everybody. See ya.